Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One. It's Wednesday, May the 15th, the year 2019. Let's talk trading. Horizontal lines, the opens. Once again, simple line. Once it's plotted, drawn, doesn't move. Money and risk management. Definitely have to use it each and every trade. I can't stress it enough. And the thing is, the risk management, if you think about it, that's where you decide how much you, you're willing to lose per trade. The money management part of it is deciding when to take profit. If the market gives you the opportunity to take profit. So I do believe, let's see, I didn't count. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten gaps haven't been filled. So we're still working on this gap fill. For the week and we're midweek now. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Um, the day, the week, the month, and the year are all red. And once again, we open below that previous midpoint. We came up to it, the previous day's midpoint. We came up to it, and then we fell back below it. And you can see here. This is the high from the first day of the week. Here's the low from the first day of the week. And you can see what happened was we exited that when we broke through that low. And now we've come back and we're back inside. Three ball at the bottom, just be aware. The daily, and we are below. All of the opens, once again, everything is red. And once again, we are outside of all the first day, trading day of the month's ranges. Uh, yesterday, I gave you a heads up on the inside bar alert, and you can see here, we broke out of that inside bar. And that was good for a few pips. And you can see it right here once again. It broke out by about, what, almost 50 pips. So I don't know anybody if they're trading the inside bar or not. But I show it every day just to show you how it can be profitable and once again just remember these videos for edu are for educational purposes only your results may vary from mine we've got five pairs over a hundred or right at a hundred hundred or better be more accurate now this is where it gets interesting. Back to the opens. This is the uh, lowest open here of the month, also of the day. And you can see what happened taking that. And then coming right back, here's the highest open of the day. Price shot through it, came back down below it. Right now it's a little over 20 pips below that, that level right there. So this is how we can use the highest opens and lowest opens. But remember, those opens are dynamic. So we plotted it here. Now, if the candle had closed above it, then the next candle could have opened above it. We would have had a, had a new highest open. Just like here, we had a new lowest open, another new lowest open, another new lowest open, another one. And then finally this one. So remember, highest open, lowest opens are dynamic.
meaning you can get a new one. Pivot point, just slightly above the daily open, giving us a slight long bias. You can see here it took out the pivot, came back down to that daily open, crossed it, gave a signal here, but you notice lower low, lower low, I'm sorry, lower high, lower high, came up, started to reverse, lower high, should have been a scratch trade. Otherwise, you would have stopped out either at the open or here. And even if you stopped out, if you would then take the, the new signal, since we already filled the, hit the pivot, taking that short, it would have paid off. And I know those sort of we'll call it hairy hindsight, but, you know, we do these buy zone trades. We show them every day. All you have to do is execute. So you get the Larry live trade or the Randy real time trade. Red rats, first with green rats, eight. Now red rats are getting more cheese. Remember, any entry in this area, doesn't matter how you enter, but just any entry would be a red rat trade looking short. Taking advantage of the uh, statistics that price will usually move or retrace at least 20 pips back off the high and 20 pips off the low. But once again, current daily highs and current daily lows are dynamic. As you can see here, price would have been pushing down, making new lows the entire way, just as price just made a new daily high recently. Once again, the pivot was taken out. Can see here pivots taken out. We still have two open pivots for the month. Price action, three ball, green at the line, paid off. Two ball at the top, pro trade, looking to go red at a line. Wick zone, as you can see, we have a big wick zone and a small wick zone, but once again, price doesn't like staying in the wick zone was in it was out once again previous days open line there was a nice cross here another nice cross there simple horizontal line trades taking it as you see price crossing it tick chart not much happening just a few pips of range The Einstein line <clears throat> gave a short signal here. By this time, you could have taken profit either all or some, but based on how price is moving the volatility, you may only take part of the profit to see if you can get more. Now, interesting here, we got the H4 opens. You can see price came above it, but we were looking at the daily opens. You can see finally we have price above one out of the last 24 daily opens. On the week, we're still below and on the month. We're above one monthly open over the last 24 months. I just picked 24 because I was using 24 hours. You can see here or somewhere. This is where we are. We've got about five or five opens. We're above. So that's a way to gauge if you're how many opens are you above versus how many are you below strength of, of price and the direction. Taking the session opens, you can see here New York, 
It went below, taking that crossover, paid off very well. And then coming back the other way, once again, just watching the way price moves. And we're looking at the hour, but you might switch over to M15, for example. And you see here, you had a nice signal going to the downside. And once again, these dots are just simply the previous candle's midpoint. Price came down to touch it and reverse. Range for the week, 138. Range for the day, 100. And you can see here, looking at how price moved when you look at it with the ATRs, the average true range, and once again, this is today's open. You can see price crossed it one way, came back down, crossed it the other way. Each time giving profit, sometimes big, sometimes small. Once again, money management, you decide if you want to take profit when it's available. But you should have a strategy to lock in some of the profit, even if it's one pip, because pips add up. And showing the weekly open here, you can see how prices cut across it. Once again, taking those trades off a simple horizontal line. And had you taken that trade, there was profit, you could have taken profit here if you held. If you held though, you could have making, taken a big profit. Now, here's an interesting thing about money management. Let's just say you entered the trade and you came here. Now, you started to pull back. You could take part of that profit off, move your stop up to break even plus one, and just let it ride. And then you see what happened here. Now, maybe you could take, take your 100 pit profit the bank bank it and that's how you can do it because I mean if you would have taken this trade here and somehow you decided to maybe take all the it pulled back here and maybe you stopped out well you missed out on all that why because you took all the profit now some and why would you even risk it? Well, you see how fast price move, and it was moving huge, as opposed to just, you know, moving small, like right here. So once you see that, and some people would say that's momentum, but if you remember from, I don't know, a month or so ago, I talked about these, you see these big candles, a price likes to return to the open, a big candle, say a big candle down, Price return to the open, big candle down, price return to the open, big candle, I'm sorry, big candle up, price returns to the open, big candle down, you can see here, price tried to return to that open, big candle up, you see price is trying to return to that open. It's just something um, that I observed and I wrote an indicator, but I haven't released it yet because I wasn't sure if I was 100% happy with it. But and that's just something I've observed. And so I use that in my targeting of trades. So that's it for today, fellow traders. Um, you know, once again, the open simple horizontal line and you can use it to be profitable because it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks.